Welcome to our kitchen. Bienvenido a la cocina. Welcome to the kitchen. Bienvenido a la cocina. Okay, so welcome to our kitchen. Today we are making glühwein. Mm. Did I say it right? You did say glühwein. Right. It's a local speciality and they sell it around Christmas time. They sell it at train stations, they sell it at Christmas markets. Yeah. Basically, anywhere you can find a glue line. And I love how you say it's a local speciality because I think every northern European country tries to claim glue line and they all have different names yeah. for it. Yeah. But this is a original Swiss recipe we're using. We are using an original Swiss recipe that I actually had someone write for me at a party three years ago last month and I forgot all about it. At the time I didn't even speak German and the girl was so nice, she's like, oh, I'll write it down for you and she wrote it all in German and I was like, mm -hmm, thank you and I was just being polite, folded it up, put it away and I don't know if this makes me a huge pack rat or like a hoarder of sorts but I was cleaning out an old purse and Lo and behold, I found the entire recipe in in like a nice vintage condition. It's a little worn out. It looks it looks like something somebody's grandma's grandma's best friend wrote down, and it's gone and traveled the seven yeah, seas. And we'll pass this to the next generation, <laughs> right? Well. So this is the recipe we'll be using. It's not even anything you can find on Pinterest, anywhere online. This is a true and true Swiss recipe. So let's get started. I will show you all of the ingredients we're using today and hopefully it comes out good. White wine, orange juice, apple juice with carbohydration, sugar, orange peel, you can use lemon peel, optional is apple peel, um, Bernan Brot Mischung, which is pear bread spices, cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, anise, nelken or cloves, bay leaves, add rum if you like, as well as ginger or ginger seasoning. So the first thing you'll need is a dingy old pot. You're going to use a simple white wine that is quite bland, so box wine is perfect for this recipe. Go ahead and pour in an entire bottle. And you're going to add all the liquids first. And right after that, you're going to pour in orange juice. And then the apple soda. So this is carbonated apple juice. See, it's carbonated. Listen. You hear it? <laughs> you're going to add sugar. And you can use brown sugar or white sugar, and go off of the sweetness you want. I recommend you start with about three tablespoons. Go ahead and let that um, boil. So while this is boiling, you're going to prepare the seasonings. Mm -hmm. You're going to use apple peel, star anise or stern anise. Gewürznecken is cloves. You're going to use a tablespoon of these. You're gonna use ginger seasoning or feel free to use fresh ginger. Bread and brot gewürz. This is pear bread seasoning. And I don't know if you can get this in the US, but I'll include a link in the description box of what I find online. Go ahead and stir and leave this low. And before the end, add a few bay leaves. Sip away. Don't forget to add a little bit of rum to the recipe to make it extra special, just like you. And this is how it turned out. It was delicious. You can scoop it out. Just um, everything's going to dissolve more or less other than the big pieces. My friend made beautiful cookies. We brought the... Um, Vice V or white wine, um, glue vine, and we drank that. And it was delicious. It was a good evening. And this will be the hit to any party you bring it to because it's so original. And you can tell them it is a real traditional Swiss recipe. It kind of translates into glowing wine. Oh, is that what that means? Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. It makes you glow once you drink it. And then once oh. you... No, 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 I'm just oh. making that up. But, um, <laughs> 
Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this white wine recipe. You'll find all the details from the original recipe written below clearly because I know this video was a bit fast, but I didn't want to leave you here all day just to get the goods. 